4K home theater projectors are becoming ever more popular. Because projection technology has evolved so fast and so well, it's now possible to get a movie theater level experience at home. Now at the same time, there's lots out there when it comes to projectors for your house. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog and I recently had a chance to test out a new 4K home theater projector here in my house. The Epson Home Cinema 4010 here is a projector made for in-home applications. Let's take a look at how it stacks up, but first if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing because it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Now the first thing I want to point out with this Epson projector here is the size. It is huge. It's easily twice the size of most projectors I've tested out and I'm not really sure why. It's also incredibly heavy. You're definitely going to need a good solid platform for it and plenty of space. Now since this one is a loan from Best Buy, I'm not doing any kind of permanent installation down here, but this one might be a good candidate for say suspending from the ceiling so that it takes up less valuable space. Here I've just got it on an adjustable stand that I got from Elune Vision. I'm using it with the 106 inch Elune Vision Ilera Nano Edge projector screen, which I got from Best Buy's Marketplace. I really like it and definitely recommend it if you're going for a professional looking home theater as opposed to using a white sheet or a wall. Two of the key features of this Epson projector are that it's got both 4K and HDR. And before we get too far, we'll give you a quick primer on 4K video. It's higher resolution video and 4K is the highest resolution you can get in a consumer TV. And let's leave 8K aside for right now because it's not readily consumer available and there's also not really any programming being shot in 8K for most of us to consume. Now 4K video is four times more detailed than today's HD TVs, so it makes lines ultra sharp, it creates a video picture so real that you'll want to reach out and touch it. It's pretty amazing quality overall. Meanwhile, HDR stands for High Dynamic Range, and this feature means better color replication and more realistic light reproduction. There's less harshness and better visibility in dark scenes too. HDR helps give you realistic light and depth. I could dazzle you with some stats here, like that this projector has a full 10-bit color output, advanced 3-chip, three 3 three LCD technology, and a contrast ratio that's 200,000 to 1. Or I could just tell you in plain English that the Epson Home Cinema 4010 is designed to show you a very high level of detail on the video with even and realistic light levels, think no burning bright spots or no bottomless blacks. So does it deliver? Let's get right to what the video quality looks like. The video, not surprisingly, looks great. True to 4K's nature, it's razor sharp, ultra detailed, bright and colorful. The Epson Home Cinema 4010 has a 2400 lumen output. What does that mean to you? It means the projector is going to be bright and can probably compete with some ambient light bleed. And here's what it looks like with my overhead lights on. Now let's talk about setup. In the box you get the Epson Home Cinema 4010 projector, a power cord, two HDMI cable clamps, a remote control with AA batteries, and your assorted paperwork. Generally speaking, setting up a projector is pretty easy. Assuming you don't have to mount it or wire it into your ceiling, you can be ready to go in just minutes. To get going, plug in the power, then connect your peripheral of choice. And here I'm using my 4K Apple Media Streamer. Then you can go ahead and make adjustments to the picture to get it just right. The Epson Home Cinema 4010 has motorized lens controls which make it super easy to adjust your video picture. If you're looking at getting a projector, I highly recommend one with motorized movements because it lets you easily adjust your video alignment without having to shuffle the projector around the room. No matter where you place it, you can adjust the framing and make keystone adjustments to correct any off-center wonkiness. When it comes to connections and ports, there are three HDMI ports that'll turn this projector into a home entertainment hub. You've got connections for optical HDMI, HDCP2 HDMI, regular HDMI, USB, LAN, PC, RS-232, a remote trigger, and there's also an infrared sensor. It might seem surprising, but this projector has no internal speaker. Now it might seem odd not to include one, especially at the price point this projector is at, but in truth you would never spend this kind of coin on a 4K video projector and then leave it to the internal speaker to provide the sound. You would definitely be connecting this to your receiver or your dedicated home theater audio system, probably using one of the HDMI ports. You could also connect speakers to any video source you've got plugged in here that has its own speaker connections. 
Overall, this projector has a lot of great features. The video quality is top notch. It's bright, colorful, clear, realistic, and definitely gives you a solid video image. Plus, I really like the motorized movements that are really easy to control with the remote. Now, if there are any cons or any downsides, the huge size of the Epson Home Cinema 4010 means you'll definitely have to think carefully about where to put it. Price also might be a concern for you since this one comes in at about 2,500 Canadian dollars. Yes, you can probably find a less expensive 4K projector out there that's just as high quality and a lot smaller, but on its own merits, I can still recommend the Epson Home Cinema 4010. If you want to read more about it, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've got a full blog and you can post any questions you have either there on the blog or here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until next time, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.